Y'all ever see those romantic love movies where like the guy is going off to the war and he's kissing his woman passionately and then he runs off to his plane and then he turns around and he looks back and he, and he wants to kiss her again and she's kissing him but then she's like, I gotta go. My husband's at home. So this tutorial will teach you how to kiss your man double fast two times. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I am hitting y'all today with a ombre requested by my girl Tequila from the west side of Chicago. Um, there was something that was uh, requested by about five different people. So I decided to talk you through this whole step. Um, an ombre, or if you look up the definition of ombre, it basically means to fade from light. I'm sorry, excuse me. To fade from a dark color to lighter color so that doesn't just apply to hair and lips like the sky is actually ombre and in the summertime you know those like cool skies where it's like purple orange red that's ombre um so saying that to say this will require um some darker uh lip liner um which can be scary people want to do an ombre lip but they really don't know what it requires. Um, it's a dark lip that fades into a lighter lip once you get closer to the center. So if you got smaller lips, you may not want to use as much liner and darkness because it could make your lips look smaller. My top lip is uh, on the thinner side. I ombre all the time. I don't care. But my top lip is on the thinner side. Thank you, Daddy. And my bottom lip is on the larger side. Thank you, Mom. So, um, I still ombre. I just, um, I just rock it out. So, enough about all of that. I just wanted to give you a little bit of definition behind why this is called an ombre. What it is to ombre something. Um, I'm starting out with a NYX lip liner it's faded you guys have seen me using a lot of short stuff i have longer pencils i refuse to go into my new pencils until i completely like dead this one like this one has to be like dead and then i will use a longer brand new pencil this one works perfectly fine it's still a lot of color on it um this is in the color fuchsia super bright um but it is a deep uh deeper pink then what i'm going to do today it was requested that i do a pink ombre so i'm going to do a pink ombre um i have already moisturized and ex exfoliated my lips um you do not have to go to the store to go and get products to exfoliate your lips because you can actually use things that you already have in your home to do so um gently brushing your lips with your toothbrush after you've brushed your teeth you have removed all of the skin from your lips and like, not a rough brushing, but just a gentle one because you don't want to have, like, bloody lips. Like, that's not cute, boo. Um, and then you can also use, like, a little sugar and, like, a little lip gloss and just gently, like, scrub around and rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. You could do that before you go to sleep at night or you could do it in the morning before you put your lipstick on. So that way you won't have, like... <sighs> I don't know, it looks like somebody took like frosted flakes and was like, oh, super glue. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Not cute, boo. So what we're gonna do right now is we do that. It's like my lips are oily. Um, to start the ombre, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get your compact with your color powder in it. So whatever you use to powder your your face, that's what you want to use. If you are a person that does not wear makeup and you just want to ombre your lip, this step is optional. I think it's super important though, so go get you some powder. All right, so this is my powder. Everybody knows I like love of mine. Um, this is a medium. So I'm just gonna load up my brush, my new fluffy brush. 
Y'all want to know why I'm doing this? And it be, it's because look at how red my lips are. I mean, look at how naturally pink they are. And it cancels out the color. And so what will happen is the color that you're going to put on your lips when you do this look. Because it's not a... Anyways, long story short, the color is going to show up a lot brighter and a lot better. Especially for dark folk. Just saying. Okay, obviously you can tell that my lip is um, it's a different color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start out with my lip liner. Okay, I'm just smoothing that out. I don't want trouble. So I'm going to take my dark pink fuchsia NYX lip liner. That's a drugstore cosmetic or Ulta. You can get this for like probably $4. Okay, so this is super affordable. Um, and you're going to start with the outside of your lip. I swear they do like um, trash every day in the back of my place. Like every day, like the garbage man is in the back of my place. And I'm like, I'm angry. Like, I don't even know. Y'all hear that? I don't know. Okay. So now you can see outline my bottom lip. To me, that's the, the, the more tedious lip to work with. I'm going to crack out the corner of my lips right quick. All right, so I'm pretty much happy. Uh, as you can see, the bottom is pretty much done for the outside for the most part. So now I'm gonna go to the top and line my lips. And you keep you want to keep working from the outside, working your way in. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna get cracking on that. Okay, so the basic principle has been applied. You have lined your lips darker. I mean, to a point. It already has an ombre effect. It's dark. Now it's light. Because like you see my natural lip color. Obviously I'm not going to do that. Because it's supposed to be like a natural fade. Again. where it, it, It's blending. You typically will blend in your on your face and your eye. And people don't talk about blending on your lips. So when you're talking about an ombre lip. You have to blend the colors together. So they can uh, just go seamlessly. You, you're not really supposed to see the line. I mean. It's supposed to kind of be blurred. Um, so, what I'm going to do, now that I've done the outside of my lips, I'm still taking the same lip pencil. And I'm just going to keep filling in a little bit closer. Um, this will be, um, this will be requiring a lot of blotting. Okay. Because your lips are also going to work as a tool. So to me right now, my lips already look a little bit smaller. So now, now that we got all of that filled in, what I'm going to do is I left a little bit of the middle of my lip, the insides of my lips, the softer part of my lips. I left them open so I can start filling it in with my lighter pink um the pink that i prefer to use today i'm actually going to use a couple of different things um i'm going to use first of all let me um just say this i am not a um a brand person like a Yes, I am. I'm lying. Don't, don't. I'm lying. Okay. Cause a, a lot of y'all know me. But what I want to say is I don't use everything Mac. Cause you just limit yourself from the possibility of experiencing a lot of different colors and a lot of different textures from a lot of different companies. And Mac ain't what it used to be. So, I mean, try some other stuff. But I am going to use Mac right now. Okay. I just had to say that. Um, I do have friends that don't really do makeup at all. And then they go and they let someone put a whole bunch of stuff on their face for Mac. And the girls at Mac, their main job is to sell you something. So if they make your face look beautiful, they sell you all of those products. They go home and they sit on shelves. Guess who gets them? 
I get them. Everybody always sends their makeup to me. I'm always ending up with somebody's makeup because they sold you on a bunch of stuff that you didn't need to, you don't even know how to use when you get home. <sighs> Just be sensible, boo. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to apply this color. It's called Saint Germain. Um, I broke this lipstick, so I'm still going to use it. I'm not going to use a lip brush. I really don't when I do an ombre, to be honest. That's your preference. To me, I don't have time for that right now because it's supposed to be a fade anyways. Am I, I'm use, I'm going to use my lips as a lip brush. And you'll understand what I mean when I do this. So, so St. Germain, that looks gross, right? That's because I smashed it. It was like too high up in the cap and I just was like... <laughs> Mm, whoops still works um it's like a pale pink color it looks the bomb i love that color um so now i got this like lighter pink and a dark pink okay and so now i'm gonna start just kind of rubbing my lips together and pressing them together so i can get that like flow Okay, so I want y'all to see. So now, what I'm deciding to do right now. Because I want it to be a little more defined. I want to go back in there with that pink lip liner. That fuchsia. And I want to like get it darkened up some more. So. See. So. Now I'm just going to go back in. And start moving my lips around. And that's it. Now, on video, you can't really see the ombre. But I'll take pictures. And at the end of the video, you'll be able to see. Last step, last step. Um, again, this is something that's not, not necessary. But I will say to do so. You want to take a concealer, okay? Any concealer that you've been using, um, just make sure that it's kind of close to your skin tone. And what I like to do is I like to clean my lips up. Um, I'm, I'm going to outline my lips with the concealer is what you're going to see me do right now. And the reason why this step is necessary is because you don't want to let, you don't want your lips to look sloppy, boo. So just like, Line the lips with the actual concealer and you'll be so happy with yourself in the end that you've done so. By the way, if you like the eye makeup, let me know and I will post a video um, on this look. So I'm about to go back in and I'm about to just clean this up here. All right, so that's my ombre look. Also, I want to give a shout out to Jessie Ron because she knew who Morticia Adams was. And you're so cool for knowing that because you're my age. Ha huh? So let me know if you like this look. Comment. And if you did enjoy the makeup tutorial, please like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace out.